This course is brought to you by Appy Pie as part of our Academy series. Let's talk about reskinning apps. It's kind of like one of the newer strategies with uh, game apps. It's really cool, it's challenging, and in this video I'm going to explain to you how to make money, how to make good money with it. And it's actually hard. It, it isn't easy to get into this kind of reskinning business, but what's hard about it is to make money, and I'll actually explain to you how. Good money, not just any kind of money. So what is reskinning? It's basically having the same game app. Let's say you have a puzzle game. Well, it's basically the process of you're, you're going to be taking the same game, but just applying a different design to it. So one theme can be like, it's going to be maybe about baseball. But you can easily make it a basketball game, a football game, it doesn't have to be about sports, it can be about flowers, whatever. And basically, you can put out the same game with like a hundred variations, or more than a hundred. And it's going to give you a lot of apps. And each of those apps will make a little bit of cash, right? Because as you know, app games are extremely, game apps are extremely hard to promote on, you know, in mobile app stores because there's just a glut of games and the top tier of game apps is like, you know, they advertise on TV, they're impossible to compete with and they clog up the search rankings, right? That's really the challenge with game apps is that it's so clogged up in the app stores because the top hundred games are like million dollar companies for the most part, sometimes even billion dollar and they're just too hard to compete with. So what do we do? Let's talk about reskinning app strategies that work. First of all, so usually what happens is the app developers, they get, you know, their first apps, they reskin them, they make them, and the distribution is just not there, right? So the marketing is not there, they get a little bit, like a few downloads here and there, but it's just not enough. So what happens is they end up making like pennies or dollars per app. And while if you make thousands of apps, you'll ultimately make thousands of dollars, hopefully, or at least hundreds of dollars. Um, this is kind of a backward strategy, right? Imagine if you have to do an update, any kind of an update, you have to do it a thousand times, it's gonna take you months. So it's not great to have thousands or hundreds of apps. Um, usually what might happen is you'll have some winners and some duds. And reskinning apps, what, what it does really well, it helps you, um, with your ASO, because let's say you make a basketball, a football, a flowers app and something, once you put all those out there, you'll get to see what people are searching for and which apps are getting downloaded and for which terms you're ranking. So actually, reskinning apps is a way to test the ASO to see which keywords bring in the most users. And then of course, you can put ads on your apps, you can maybe even have like in-app purchases, things like that, but, but basically, having this large volume of apps it actually gives you, it's, it's a feel out test to, tell, to, to, to help you determine which keywords, is it basketball, is it football, which keywords are the ones that are gonna bring you ASO traffic. And once you get ASO traffic from a bunch of these, from some you won't get much, but from some you'll get a significant amount and that's where you have to press the gas on that. So it's kind of like an uh, extra good keyword research technique, right, because you'll, you'll, once you put the apps out there, you'll start getting a sense of where the gaps are in the app stores and where you can fill those gaps and get the, the downloads for your apps. Um, so that's actually one really great strategy. Now, here's the other really great strategy. If someone is already on your app, what you essentially have is a catalog of products, right, because you have many, many apps. Uh, a catalog of products gives you new marketing strategies because when one person that has, when you have one customer, right, that one person downloads your app immediately, what you can do is sell them the whole catalog because if they get one, as long as you position the, all the other ones in a way that's in, easy for them to navigate to and to browse, many of them, especially if it's a free product, if it's a free product, many of them, maybe up to 25 or 50%, somewhere like maybe let's say 25% is a healthy range, 20%, let's go on the safe side. But many people will go on and get your other free product, especially if your product is good. 
right? And so it, you, you won't just get one download. One person can turn into like 20 or 50 downloads, right? Because they'll, they'll try your app in different ways. And what that's going to do is it's going to give you from one download, you just make you just made 20 or 50 downloads, and this will boost your ASO. When you have so many apps cross-promoting so many other apps, it will boost the download numbers for these apps and, and get them to jump over the competitors. See that? That acceleration of downloads will help your apps jump over the competitors. And once that happens, you should start doing better in ASO, getting more and more traffic, and have your whole catalog sort of lift itself up. Um, and that's the way to win with uh, reskinning apps. Those are the two strategies.